All right, once again, welcome back to the tutorial series of learning AWS step functions. This is tutorial number five, which we are gonna launch branch statement, which means uh, based on a certain value in the response, we wanna do branching. So for example, if the status score is 200, branch to some task, status score is negative one, branch to some other task, or by default, so essentially if something do this, if something do that else, do that. So if else statement we are gonna implement, okay? So in step function. So I'll, I'll share the code with you uh, in a second. So um, coming to their official website, this is called essentially a choice. A choice state type choice adds branching logic to a state machine, okay? So for example, again, you know, I love like showing you what, I try, what I'm trying to say. Say uh, you executed a function A, then based on the value, you either wanna go to B or you wanna go to C, if nothing, then default go to C, okay? So so that sort of stuff we are trying to do here, okay? Uh, this is gonna be lab five, so the code will be there. So, you know, don't worry about that. So let's collapse everything and understand the code base, okay? And then we'll see a demo. Uh, comment and start at is pretty self-explanatory, okay? So this is a state called branch based on choice. Think of this as a Lambda function that's fetching data from a database or, you know, calling some API and based on the response value, you want to branch to certain condition, right? So uh, let me collapse all these stuff so I can show you. So this is that, right? So over here, the first thing that you, you say is choice, which means that you want to do certain operation based on a choice. So then you provide a list of choice, right? So as you can see, I am been providing list of choice. So the first one is saying dollar status code, which means uh, in a second, I'll try to show you. So I'm assuming that, you know, you know, in a, in the JSON, there will be a body called status. It value can be 200 or it can be negative one or something else, right? So here I'm saying that dollar st status code, which means dollar means JSON dot the key, right? So this will give me the value. And then I'm using string equals to, if the string is equal to the number 200, go to the next state that is status code 200 state. This will be another Lambda that's gonna do certain action. Similarly, status code is negative one, do something, right? Collapsing both of that. If none of the condition is met, Go to the default one, man. So the default is default state, right? Now, if you observe carefully, uh, if the status code is 200, right? It's gonna go to this one and it's gonna go to status code 200 state, which is here. So here again, I'm just mocking this up. It can be a type of task and a resource of a Lambda, right? So I'm mocking this up. Similarly, I have a negative one, which means if the status code is negative one, branch to this, right? Default, go to this, okay? So copy pasting this guy here. Uh, coming to the step 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 step, step functions, uh, clicking on edit, and if you observe, as you can see, we have a beautiful branching logic, right? So using this operator, you could do branching, okay? So now come on the bottom section. Sorry, up on the top. Click on save, and now I'll show you how beautifully you can implement. Uh, it will do the branching, right? And if you wanna go really crazy, which means you can add again. You could add for each state, you could add try catch, right? You could uh, do a retry policy. This is tutorial number four, we talked about that, right? So uh, you could do essentially all of that, right? So now here, I'm gonna say status code. Uh, my JSON will have a status code. And I'm gonna provide a value of 200 to show you that it, it should go to the 200 branch. We'll click on st st uh, start execution. And um, looks like something has went wrong. Let me just make sure. Uh, okay, let's see. Looks like I canceled it, so it's gonna go back quickly. Gonna click on lab one. Yeah, let's try this again. Not sure what happened there, but uh, yeah. Status score as 200, that looks good. We'll start the execution. Uh, let's see why this is uh, being canceled for some reason uh, looks like it's in the gray state which means it is canceled uh, so I'm just gonna make sure yeah this is as type pass so this should be fine this is fine as well uh, it's a dummy 
task and same goes with this right and uh, branch here type as choice so this is also should be fine i think it should be fine uh not sure why this is st status is cancelled um that's completely weird to me so i'll go back to the state machine come here i'll try to just edit that maybe might fix that uh, might have a bug there so i'll just click on format json right so yeah this looks good and then i'll click on save okay uh just want to make sure that i'm doing the branching out of the right dollar status code dollar status code okay so that should be fine so the state machine is saved uh going back again right we'll click on start execution oh i think i had a syntax error the in the json itself okay so let's try that execution and here you can see now it goes to the status 200 right now i'll try the same thing but with a status of negative uh, 1 and now you can see it's going uh, to the negative uh, state right so this is how you can implement branching in your state machine right so now remember uh, this is your task right so each of this so basically if a condition is met met we either uh, branch to status code 200 or negative 1 or default now each one of the this one can have a retry and a catch block so if you want to implement error handling so you can go to the lab number 4 remember uh, we talked about that so you can do complex retry logic right you could implement complex catch logic custom error if any, any uh, task has failed or if I, in general if all failed and just go to something right so you could also branch now based on that for example uh over here you said if something is met go to b then you can check uh if everything is okay end else go to an error state so you could do all that branching logic as well right so i'll conclude the video here this is lab number 5 and i would really appreciate a small like on the video it takes a lot of effort to make this videos you know prepare all these labs upload material make the readme file and then the video editing of course a simple like would be much 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 appreciated with that being said thank you so very much for watching next upcoming videos we are going to learn about more and more about step function okay so see you guys in the tutorial number 6 now